takeoff drills that you can do at home. So what you want to do is you want to practice from a three-step approach or a five-step approach. The purpose of this exercise is to help you drive your knee up and to look at where you want to go. Now usually there would be a bar there or you do it alongside a wall. But because I don't really have one with my current setup, I'm going to take a visual point. So I'm going to be looking up. I'm going to uh, look uh, towards the roof and that's going to be my marker. So wherever you are training, uh, whether you have something to look at, uh, sorry, if you're going along a wall or a fence, that's great. Uh, even a clothesline. But if you don't, uh, find a high marker to look at. And then you're just going to take three steps and you're going to practice trying to get your knee as high as you can and you need to hold it for as long as possible. Now ideally you have a marker because if you have the marker, you can actually uh, use your peripheral vision to see if your knee is there. Don't take your eye off the high mark. You want to focus on whatever the high mark is you are paying attention to, but only use your peripheral vision to see where your knee drive is coming up. So first I will do it with a three step. Uh, just keep on practicing that. I'll do it this time with a five step approach. The five step approach will give you more speed, which means you should be able to go higher. So uh, yeah, just keep on practicing it. And what you want to do is you want to keep on engaging your core because you want your hip flexors and your core to be strong. So the longer you can hold this, the higher you will go. Five step approach. One more time. 